next exercise 10 C okay uh, if 12 you can see the first question if 12 kg of rice costs to be 696 then find the cost of 17 kg of rice okay so here we can we are using the uh, ratio and proportion method on the same method we'll try it here so you can just see here and i'll just write it like this 12 kg the cost is 696 so we'll write like this okay and find the cost of 17 kg so we'll write 17 kg the cost will be what we'll just take it x here understood so we'll do the same process like last exercise product of extremes equal to product of means okay so 12 into x equal to 696 into 17 so x equal to 696 into 17 by 12 so we can cut now okay so we can cut 12 uh, 5 zero, 60 remain 9 96 so 12 a 96 so 58 into 17 58 into 17 we multiply 58 into 17 is how much here we just multiply and write it okay 58 into 17 will be i think we'll get 986 okay so therefore we can say that for the cost of therefore the cost of 17 kg of rice is rupees 986 okay so now we'll go to the next question question number two in the same method okay same method what's given here uh, if 750 gram of milk provides 24.75 gram of protein then how many grams of protein does 100 gram of milk provide so same process we'll do like 750 gram 750 gram of uh, milk provides 24.75 gram okay so we'll make double list and uh, then how many grams of protein does 100 gram of milk provide okay so how many grams so we'll take this is x and uh, 100 gram is it i think we can just write 750 gram of milk provides this 24.75 protein then how many grams of protein okay how many grams of protein does so we'll just make it this is uh, 100 and this one is x okay So seven, the same process. We'll multiply these two, and product of extreme equal to product of mean. So seven fifty into x equal to twenty four point seven five into hundred. Okay. So now therefore x equal to twenty four point seven five into hundred divided by seven fifty. Okay. So here x equal to will multiply by hundred means point is cancelled. So two four seven five only will be there by 750 understood you multiply 100 to 0 so point is two times is gone now we can cut by 5 5 1 sir remain 2 5 is a 25 0 you can cut by 5 here 4 5 is a 20 remain 4 47 9 5 is a 45 remain 2 25 5 is a 25 again we can cut by 5 3 5 0 0 9 5 is a 45 remain 4 45 9 5 zero. so 99 by 13 again we can cut by 3 10 3 0 3 3 so 33 so 33 by 10 so answer is 33 by 10 equal to we can say 3.3 gram okay so therefore last we can write answer therefore 3.3 uh, uh, grams of protein uh, provided by 100 um, gram of milk okay now we'll go to next question number three number three was given here So number three question is given a dozen mangoes weigh 4.8 kg weight and how many game mangoes will weigh 11.2 kg weight okay so question number three a dozen mangoes okay that means doesn't means 12 so 12 mangoes the weight is given 4.8 okay that means how many mangoes so how many mangoes weight will be 11.2 okay so we'll just do the same thing product of 
uh, extremes product of mean so I will press this one here 4.8 into x equal to 11.2 into 12 so x equal to 11.2 into 12 by 4.8 okay so x equal to 11.2 into 12 multiply 10 here and multiply 10 multiplying 10 10 why means we to cancel the point so here point is cancelled and here also point is cancelled okay to cancel the point i'm multiplying 10 10 so you can cut here without multiplying also we can do okay i'm just doing this one 12 4 0 48 again cut this one 4 i can cut by 2 2 sir 5 2 sir 10 remain 1 6 2 sir you can cut this one 2 x equal to it will be how much x equal to 28 okay so number of mangoes equal to 28 you can write answer uh, okay i'll write it here equal to this is 28 all right here equal to 28 therefore number of mangoes equal to 28 okay so that's over for question number three now we'll go to question number four Question number four. Question number four was given. A car can cover a distance of 330 kilometer in 25 liter. So 330 kilometer in 25 liters. That means how far can it travel on 17 liters? Okay, how far it can travel in 17 liters? So now we'll do the same process. Uh, product of extremes and product of means so 25 into x equal to 17 into 330 okay so x equal to 17 into 330 divided by 25 so we can cut it now so you can cut by 5 5 is 25 then here is 6 is 30 remind 3 again 36 is so 17 uh, into 66 divided by 5 okay so 17 into 66 divided by 5 so you will multiply these two numbers so 66 into 17 okay so 6 7 so 42 remind 4 is 4 10 okay so the same will write again here 2 0 1 so 2 2 1 1 so 1 1 2 2 divide by 5 so x equal to divide it here 5 2 is 10 remain 1 12 so 5 2 is 10 okay uh, remain 2 22 5 4 is 20 remain 2 20 point so 5 2. so 200 oh sorry uh, 5 4 is 200 24.4 okay we got so that for the distance you write here that for the distance is 224.4 kilometer okay okay now will be the last question for this exercise okay question number 10c i'm doing this exercise we'll do only five questions so this is the last one so question number five 29 workers were paid 3300 35 as wages okay so 29 workers they got 3335 okay rubies and uh, how many workers how many workers got 4830 rupees okay so we'll do the same process product of extremes equal to product of means so 3335 into x equal to 4830 into 29 so x equal to 4830 into 29 divided by 3335 okay so we can cut straightly okay we can cut 29 and this one we can cut if you want you can just divide it and just check it like this okay 29 29 are 29 remain 4 so it's 43 okay again 29 are 29 remain uh, much here 13 minus minus 4 and 3 minus so 1 here so bring it here and 29 how many times will go it will be 5 5 nines are 45 remain 4 5 2 are 10 10 plus 4 14 so answer is so 29 if you cancel is coming 115 okay 
Again, 4, 8, 3, 0 also will divide by 1 on 5. Or we can cut by 5 also. Here, you cut by 5 here. 23, 5, 0. And again here, 9, 5, 0, 45. Remind 3, 33, 6, 5, 0, 30. Remind 3, 6, 5, 0, 30. Okay. So, 966 divided by 23. So, we can just divide it. 966 divided by 23. Do it in your rough side, this one. Okay. So, 23, 4, 0, 92. So remind 4, 46, 23, 2, 0. So we can say the answer is how much here? If you take 2, 23, 2, 0, 46, we say. So the answer is 42. Okay. So right here, answer is 42. You can cut. This one you write it in your approach side. Okay. Therefore, uh, number of workers. Therefore, number of workers equal to 42. Okay, so that's over for this chapter.